very happy to have uh, Dr. Savio Sequera was deputy director, ex-deputy director of the Animal Husbandry Department in Panjim to talk to us all about what veterinary science is all about. Doctor, welcome and thank you so much for sparing time for us. Students uh, want to choose various types of careers. Uh, students uh, love animals, they love uh, pets, especially cats and dogs. And some of them think that because they love a cat or a dog, they must become vets. <laughs> so uh, I would like you to tell our viewers all about veterinary science so that they get a feel of whether in fact they are suitable to become vet doctors or whether they just fancy uh, dogs and cats and those kind of pets in the in the home. So doctor, please go ahead and tell us all about what this veterinary science is all about. Basically, veterinary science is a very good profession, but we don't deal just with dogs. Uh, people who normally go in for the course, they think that dog, if they love dogs, if they love some cats in their house and all that, they have some few pets, they are really good vets. Uh -huh. It's not true. You have to uh, be um, proficient in most of the animals, like you know, most of the domestic animals, cattle, buffaloes, or sheep, goat, pigs, and uh, poultry. These are all uh, animals yeah. we deal with. Okay. Of course, um, you should be also interested in their care, the looking after the sick. You know, this is the main things that you should have before you endeavor. So okay. the, what you're saying is that uh, it's good to fondle cats and dogs when they are babies or when they're little grown up. Yeah. But when they get sick, they say, no, I don't want to touch them kind of thing. Is, uh, that, is, that doesn't make a good vet. It doesn't make a good vet, that's true. So, uh, how does one go about identifying whether he or she will eventually become a good vet? Uh, I would um, suggest them that first they should see what this profession holds for you. Okay. First and foremost, are you interested in government job? Okay. Or are you interested in having a private clinic? Okay. All right. After you have decided that yeah, veterinarian is a career for me, then you have to decide on these two options. Now, if you are choosing a veterinarian, uh, veterinarian career with the government uh, job in mind, then you should be rest assured that you don't get a government job immediately. Right. Somebody has to retire, there should be a vacancy, and there are many other criteria by which they get common jobs. Uh, whereas in case of private practitioners, as I was discussing with you earlier, uh, private practitioners can earn a lot of money. If they are good, if they have done their further studies in surgery and so, so on and forth, then they can earn uh, up, even up to 5 lakhs a month. Oh, as high yeah. as that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But initially, of course, you uh -huh. can't expect that much. So you should be able to earn around 40,000 a month or so okay. as you start. And then when you become famous, you can uh -huh. earn even much more. Because you'll be keeping doctors under with you. Oh, okay. There will be a team of them working together and so on. So uh, there is a lot of scope. So having said that, uh, having said that about uh, scope in the private practice, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the nature of the person, the person has to be dog loving, caring, etc., etc., especially when the dogs are, or cats are sick and they are unwell. Now, take the government job just for a while. Suppose a, a buffalo or a big animal is unwell, would the vet who is a government official be really looking after these people or do they, what do they do? Uh, normally, the, the owner we call them farmers. Yeah. He comes to the dispensary or hospital and he uh, tells the doctor that, well, my animal is sick. So the vet goes to his house, uh, the, the, the animal is restrained, and then uh, he examines the animal and gives the treatment. Now, this is possible for the government vet because we don't charge them much. Just, so just 10 rupees a uh, registration fee and the medicines are given free of cost also. The, so therefore the private vet cannot compete in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, similar is the case with buffaloes, poultry, and uh, piggery. Okay. Right. 
But in case of pets, that is the dogs rather, mm. or cats, there the thing is different. There the, the doctor will normally expect you to bring the dog to the dispensary. He will, he will see what is wrong and you will have to purchase the medicines from the pharmacist, oh, usually. Okay. So there's a difference between farmers and let us say... We are more interested in product events okay. because the government is interested in production and helping the, um, the, the citizens to get um, a very good diet, you know, okay, like milk right. and other products. Okay, right. okay. Now tell me doctor, uh, we in Goa do not have a veterinary college. Okay, so where are the students supposed to f find these colleges and, uh, and do their studies? Yeah, the government has uh, negotiated with the Indian Veterinary Council and uh, we have seats in Maharashtra, six seats in Maharashtra, five seats in Pondicherry. Uh, there is a criteria for this. Uh, going back to the criteria, first of all, the, the person who is <coughs> trying for this post should be a resident of Goa for f at least 15 years. Oh, I see. So if a person is not resident no. for 15 years, there is no chance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Proceed, please. Yeah. This is so that we can give opportunities. Otherwise, the person from neighboring states will come when they already have a college and they will occupy these seats. Okay. So right. it's so that only go people from Goa get the opportunity. Mm -hmm. The number two is he should yeah. have a uh, farming uh, background. He should be preferably from a rural background. Oh, okay. Because many urban people also come. He should be, if he wants to, um, to avail the support fee, we, you know what is the support fee? Uh, since we are getting these seats from Maharashtra and uh, we pay the, go, uh, the the college some amount. Okay. It's known as support fee. We pay Pondicherry 6 lakhs per student. Wow. And we pay Maharashtra 50,000 per term. So that's a lot of money. Yeah, 50,000 per term. So, if the income of the parents is more than 5 lakhs per annum, yeah. then the, the person has to, the student will have to bear the, the support fee. Oh, I see. So, it is not that, uh, it is not that if the income is higher than 5 lakhs, hmm. the, uh, the student uh, will, will be debarred from it. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay, I see. That's a good thing because I, I thought earlier hmm. that it could be that 5 lakhs is the limit and therefore if you are beyond 5 lakhs, no, no, no. uh, okay, okay. So the fees would necessarily depend on the uh, Not the parents. fees, not the fees, the okay. support fee. Only the support fee. Support. The fees, are, whether it is uh, the person who, who is, uh, whose income is 5 lakhs or low, lower, uh, both have to, both have to pay the fees. Pay the fees. And uh, what is the fees like, roughly? Roughly. It keeps on changing. Um, it should be around uh, around uh, forty thousand a year. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, let us say that having put this criteria of uh, of uh, five lakhs, etc., etc., the has the child to go through the student go through any admission test or anything like that to be able to be admitted. Yes. yes. So what what are what are those conditions? Uh, <coughs> now from this year, in the past. Only from this year. From this year. Watch the students, this is something special. It's only from this year the rules have changed. So please listen carefully. From this year, we have three major things. That is, you. first is, you will have to go to a committee, which is formed by the government. And by the, you will be taken to one of our farms. We have two farms. One is the Copper Day farm, and one is the uh, Dart farm, Mole. So you'll be taken there and they will judge you whether you can go near the animals, you can you know, touch them, you have, you have a phobia towards these oh, animals. Okay. Similarly, they will also take you to the pets and see whether you are really able to hold them or just love them and just want to tickle them. Oh, huh? right. So they will just see your aptitude in this direction. That's number one. Number two is um, that you will be also checked on your farming background, whether you have a really an interest in this farming and all that, so, uh, which was not done in the past. These are the two different things which have been put this year. And another thing which has been put is the special reservations. Okay. We have now reservations for scheduled cars, scheduled tribe and um, OBCs, okay. which was not there. It was all in general category. Oh, right. So from this year, Maharashtra, 
there are uh, three in general category and uh, two for STs, two for OBCs. Uh -huh. That makes it six. And in point for point of Pondicherry, it is three in general category, uh -huh. one in scheduled caste, one in OBC, and uh, so uh, sorry, three in general. Uh, yeah, one. Uh, so that makes it five. So, so students, please one. make note of this. If you happen to be in one of these categories of uh, the caste uh, scheduled by the government, you have an opportunity here to get into veterinary college and in fact you might even get a job after you finish yeah. as a government officer uh, looking after animals in farms etc etc so here is a golden opportunity but remember the seats are limited so you have to work hard and show the uh, selection committee that you really really have a love and care for animals yes doctor then uh, tell us more now Tell us. Uh, I would add up to that. Yeah. That these those who are in the tribal and who are who are uh, also scheduled caste. There is a the the department of tribal welfare gives you additional benefits if you go for, oh, for studies. See. Like for example, they give you sub, uh, sub subsidies for studies. Okay, so right, you right. will get this uh, these seats plus you will get some other additional right, benefits. Right, right. And afterward you'll get after you finish. You will be given um, um, uh, better chances to to get a job. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, because there are already reserve seats which are going wasted for the last for many years in our department, in the oh, department. Okay. Well, that's very interesting indeed. Okay, doctor, tell me now. Uh, there are only eleven seats, and Goa is a huge population. Yes. Okay, let us say that there are twenty people or twenty students wanting to become doctors and some of them are in the higher income bracket. Where do they go? See, as far as Maharashtra uh, seats are concerned, they have to answer a NEET exam. Okay. okay. That is in, um, that is very much important because that comes much before their examination. So, okay. you know. Oh, I see. Okay. So you should uh, be prepared the papers much, yeah. In case of um, entry to Pondicherry, it is on the 12th standard marks. Okay. Whatever you get in the 12th standard, as per your merit, that is P, C, B, English. Okay. Note this. It's Physics, English. chemistry, biology, English. 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 Okay. So you, sh you, the 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 one having the highest percentage is taken as first. So as per merit, you are taken. No, but there is no like uh, uh, you must have minimum 60 percent or something like that. As per merit, it autom automatically comes. All those are. All right. Uh, as far as um, the ones in Maharashtra are concerned, they have to get 50% marks in NET, otherwise they cannot be. All right, okay, okay. Now, Doctor, uh, we talked about these two colleges in Maharashtra and Pondicherry. As I said, there are 20 students. There are only 11 seats. Where do the nine other students go? Is there any private no. college they can go to? No. No, there is no private college in... Uh, Not at all, no. In India, there is no private veterinary college. They, they cannot get seats. Is, uh, is it they cannot get seats or there are no private colleges? There are no private colleges. Wow. So that means they are stuck. Either they have to go abroad. Yeah. Or they have to stay for next year. For the My goodness me, that is, that's quite a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, would you by any uh, chance at all know why the government of Goa has not introduced a veterinary college? Okay. There was a party who wanted to start here. Okay. It requires a lot of land, you know, the big area, because we require agricultural land. That's agricultural not a problem, land, yeah. yeah. And um, it um, requires um, not only land; we also require agricultural land, as you said just now, yeah. for the f for the fodder. All right. And, okay, yeah. That's and, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a big institution. Uh, they could not establish it because of the amount of money that is going to it. Okay. Large animals. It's uh, it's a lot of money. Like so, uh, talking about large animals, you mentioned only buffaloes and cows and all. But in the recent newspapers, we have been reading about leopards being trapped, tigers coming into our land, and that kind of thing. What happens to these kind of animals? No, I mentioned only these two, but I, I, I should have mentioned all the domestic animals. No, cattle. these are not domestic. No, no, these of course, I'll come to that. We, we, we go into cattle, buffaloes, uh, um, uh, horses, yeah. no, no, uh, uh, pigs and uh, poultry. Uh, okay, about your wild animals. The wild animals basically are looked after by the forest department. 
uh, they, uh, if the, a wild animal is injured, they catch hold of him and restrain him in their cages. They have got special cages where they can restrain the animals. And then they call the vet, one of, from our department, from the Department of Animal Husbandry. And one of the vets goes there and checks the animal and uh, give the injections or whatever treatment is to be given. Once the animal is okay, it is their option whether to release them back to the forest or to keep them in the, as one of the exhibits in the zoo. All right. Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. So there are two departments looking after these. Uh, no, uh, only the wild, wild animals. Only wild animals they are looking yeah, after. The forest department. Forest department. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine. Uh, I just want to go back a little bit to the Pondicherry and uh, and Maharashtra College of Veterinary uh, where they are doing their studies there. What about uh, hostel facilities and all that sort of thing? Okay. In uh, both the colleges, um, whether you, you are in Maharashtra, uh -huh. Maharashtra basically we have got two places. Some are sent to Bombay, some will be sent to Satare. Okay. So uh, in Pondicherry only one college is there. Now, both the, all the three places have got very good hostel accommodation, both for girls and for boys. All right, okay. So, that's, so that's not an issue. Not an issue. Okay. All right, uh, let's look at uh, the, the scenario now. Uh, a person has graduated, comes back to Goa, wants a job in the government. You said that the chances are very poor. So what does the person have to, can do now? So actually, when you are going for this course, you have to sign a bond with the government. Maybe before going for the course? Before going for the course, you have okay. to sign the, a bond with the government that you are going to work for the government for two years. Okay. Now this was, this is an old concept because that time they required vets okay. and we used to sign the bond. But it's going on, yeah. it's tradition. Uh, but the, the fact is, fact of the matter is that when they come back, there is no jobs. All right. So these two years are just, and um, you ask me whether they, they, when they come, they have to come and they have to tell the government that they have finished their course. It's okay. very, very essential yeah. okay. because the government is paying support fees. Uh, yeah. Then the jobs, of course, are not there, but so, uh, we do have something known as contract employment. Okay. So we give, we uh, take them in contract and we pay them on a, um, on a, Small stipend uh -huh. per month. How small is small? Twenty thousand. Okay. No. Which can, which is regularly increased. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that that stipend uh, they are put into one of the dispensaries or or clinics wherever we have, and um, they have to while they are there they can still wait for their opportunity to get a. So it is not very advisable for students who are hankering for government jobs to really go for veterinary science, thinking about government jobs. But if they think in the back of their mind, they will not get a government job, but they should therefore go into looking after pets, dogs and cats. That would be the right thing to do. In fact, if they are interested in pets, I, I should say that don't even think of government jobs because you know it's not correct to, uh, uh, to uh, unnecessarily get into government job and then still be interested in pets. I know you have got an assured regular income when you are in common yeah, job right, yeah. and many people go in because of that uh, and it's we are really paid well because we are paid the same as the medical profession okay. same okay. we get NPA that is non practitioners allowance no no government weight is allowed to practice uh, or outside outside yeah, okay. yeah. which uh, if, if they are doing it it's yeah, not yeah. legal so they're getting an NPA plus the normal salary and we are equated the same level so it's a very good thing so if you are interested it should you really see that you are really interested in cattle practice you know okay. cattle buffaloes okay. poultry and and uh, piggeries you know. doctor one question that uh, comes to my, to my mind is now a person gets into veterinary college to become uh, a private practitioner yeah. okay does it cost a lot of money to set up a private practice in Goa? See, all professionals can always apply for loan and most of the banks have got special uh, uh, fixed um, criteria by which they give them uh, equipments and all. Yeah, at okay. a, uh, they give loan at a subsidized rate for equipment right. to setting up their unit. Yeah, so, so roughly, roughly, 
uh, what would you say would be the cost to set up a clinic, say in Purvari or say in Mapsa? See, you, did, you, see, uh, you cannot uh, just vaguely say that how much it will cost because each one is different. Some are just, some are just uh, uh, opening clinics where they have uh, just a table uh -huh. with, uh, where they keep the dog, okay. uh, uh, a place where they can tie the dog and so on and so forth, uh, a table and chair for themselves, um, prescription pad and uh -huh. you know and um, uh, medicines and uh -huh. so. so that will cost hardly anything. Okay. Okay. But there are others who have made it very professional and they give, no, in addition to just treating the dogs, yeah. they have their um, uh, parlors, uh, you know, they look after the dog, yeah. they groom the dog, they dog cut their nails, so they have special okay. uh, staff to do these things, you know. So, okay. very, so it's become quite a lucrative job now. No, no, but you also mentioned something about surgery. Suppose the dog or a cat needs surgery. Yeah. Is that a very expensive business in terms of the doctor to set up a surgery clinic in the in the no, not at all. He just has to have a, a, a separate room wherein he and the a little aesthetic uh, things are there. Yeah. Uh, unlike uh, the human side, where you require a lot of um, care. Uh, here, in case of uh, these animals, are having a lot of resistance, and um, they, uh, they don't, uh, they are not susceptible to many uh, small cell delicate uh, problems like mm -hmm. human beings. So, if, so I would say that just two rooms, one for their yeah. clinic and one. So for it is it's okay to set up a surgery. Yeah, yeah. So suppose now, suppose yeah. this particular doctor is not really very familiar with, or not doesn't want to perform surgery. Mm -hmm. Is there an animal hospital in Goa where they can send the doctor, uh, the dog or cat to? Yes. Actually, we have two major places. One is in Margaon and one is in Panjim. All right. Uh, now, the Panjim one is more equipped because it has got a laboratory next to it, a very well-equipped laboratory. Uh -huh. We have got an X-ray unit. We have got. Uh, uh, we go to sonograph. Uh, no. oh, I see. Okay. Plus, we have the laboratory which does the blood examinations, stool examinations, and uh, examination of fur samples. And you know, I it's see. quite elaborate. And uh -huh. uh, there is a separate vets uh, handling uh -huh. that uh, unit. Where Where is this in Panjim? Tonka, Karazin. Okay. 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 It's known as the Disease Investigation Unit. Okay. And we have the hospital next to it. So suppose we, uh, I have a pet dog which is very sick and my vet has said, please go to uh, Tonka. Will they charge me a lot of money for that? No. The, uh, if your dog is sick, uh, you will have to, they'll, you'll have to take it there of course. They'll do the test. The test practically is um, done free of cost. Mm -hmm. All the tests. Okay, right. But the, the treatment will cost because you'll have to buy the medicines from outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the vet there, in the, in the hospital doesn't charge you much. He gives you a receipt for about 30 rupees, I think. Per, mm. uh, so otherwise, there is the the charges are only because of the medic medications that you may have to give the dog uh, regularly. And we don't have an in-house hospital. Okay. We used to keep the dogs there in the in Tonka. We have a place at the back, but uh, because of the feeding of the dogs, you know, and after care. Yeah. We felt it is better to the owner takes the dog and brings it every day rather than keep it there and and they don't have the proper diet the dogs to get. Doctor, just to change uh, tack for just a minute, you know, some of our uh, people are migrating nowadays to Canada, to Australia, yeah. to the US. Let us say one of them is a vet. Would that person be able to practice in Canada uh, or in Australia or in uh, US? with the Indian qualification. Okay. I'll tell you about that. Uh, you, there is something known as the Indian Veterinary Council okay. and the Goa Veterinary Council. Is, even in Goa, if a vet officially wants to practice, um, uh, suppose somebody has done his veterinary science somewhere in Delhi and he wants to practice in Goa, he has to register himself with the Goa Veterinary Council also. Okay. And register is okay, that means you have to do a test? No, no, here it is uh, simple. Yeah. But when he goes abroad, uh -huh. you have to undergo a test because they don't recognize the degree here. Like suppose you go to America, uh -huh. they don't uh, recognize the degree. So you will have to do a test um, and get yourself registered. For that, you have to study 
and for because it is not as simple uh, testing and um, there are uh, people who have taken even two years to wow, right. to yeah. answer the test and then perform but in the meantime you it is it is better you work under somebody some vet for okay. so that you also get trained in the in the manner of treatment there yeah, exactly. it's it's different from okay. different the equipments are more advanced because we hear sometimes of people who have migrated even mm. even uh, uh, people doctors you know where where they find it very difficult to pass that particular exam mm. and they work as bus conductors and and those kind of jobs which uh, which is uh, which is a sorry state of affairs uh, probably you might have heard of such stories yourself mm. but mm. there are those who have answered the test they are doing very well okay. extremely well because there the vets are given a lot of more um, prestigious posts, you know, and they really do, are doing extremely well. They really love their pets, so they are ready to pay, you know. They are re ready to pay much more for their pets than their own children sometimes. So. Right, okay. <laughs> One final question, Doctor, you've been very, very uh, informative about this. One final question. Uh, when or why would uh, somebody who has done uh, the bachelor's in uh, veterinary science, uh, why would one want, want to do masters or PhDs in, in veterinary? Uh, what is the benefit or otherwise? Uh, if you're going for government jobs, I don't know whether yeah. it is really benefit yeah. because uh, all are put in the same criteria right, as okay. far as GOA is concerned. Yeah. Okay. Other places they have bigger institutions and much more, and there, of course, you cannot get uh, into higher roles unless you are a postgraduate. Right, right, okay. But in private practice. It makes a difference because you are learning the latest uh, techniques in, say, for example, surgery. Okay. You're learning the latest techniques, and you are well, much more equipped than the one who just does the BVSC. Okay. But uh, one who does the BVSC, that is Bachelor in Veterinary Science, has also got. Uh, he's also permitted to do surgery. Okay. 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 It's also permitted to do. But uh, a, a person who has done his post graduation is is in a better know-how. And in the latest techniques of the art. Doctor, thank you so much for giving us such a lot of information about veterinary science. Uh, limited uh, opportunities if you want to think of government, lots of opportunities if you want to think of pets and dogs and those kind of uh, pets. But the field is open provided you love animals and you want to take care of them. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you.